Talent Squad, welcome back. Mr. Talent here, bringing you some more VGC 2018 action on the channel. And as you can see over here and up there, we still got the Mega Zam team coming in hot, but we did do a slight update to it. Steel Pokemon like Celesteel or Flying Pokemon and some bulky waters were a little bit of a problem for this team. So we got Kartana and Thunders as well. Thunderous gives us EQ immunity as well instead of using our Celesteel there. I believe we had Celesteel this team. I forgot we had it this team to be honest. And then Kartana gives us a Steel typing as well plus Grass typing for um, Pokemon like maybe Gastrodon, Pokemon that we did Grass, and Combine, Sapu, Finn that could be a problem for this team as well. But. Overall, this team is pretty solid. There is indeed a QR code of this team. It is going to be in the description down below. It is also my last video, the Z Solar Pim Heat Ram video. But of course, guys, EVs, IVs, all the good stuff, always in the description down below, as well as a QR code. So you guys can try this team for yourself on doubles on our battle spot. Oh my god, I'm choking on battle spot doubles. Currently, we are 6 and 2, and we are fresh off back from TwitchCon, my friends. And we're going to have some good battles right now. I might be a little rusty. It's been a couple of days since I played some Pokemon, but we're gonna hop right back into it right now. We started opponent with a T Tar Heat Ran, Finny Lando, Cresselia, and a Zapdos. A pretty solid team to say the least. Now, most likely you go like T Tar Lando, T Tar Heat Ram, uh, maybe even Cresselia and somebody else that you can trick him up. Like, ooh, what do I do here? Well, Lele has taunts. So unless Cresselia has a mental herb, there's going to be no tricking for you going up. Mega Zam over here could trace like Intimidate, Sandstream, uh, Levitate, which could be pretty cute. Uh, Minty Terrain, maybe that Zethos has uh, Volt Absorb or whatever ability he has as his hidden one. Or even Flash, that'd be really nice. So you know what? Let's go with a lead of... Mm. I really don't know what to lead with here. So if I go Lele Zam, you just go freaking Tyranitar. So I really can't do this. I'm going to go Terrakium, Lele, uh, Thunderous, and last but not least, something for... Well, I have Heat Ran for... I mean, I have, I have Terrakium for Heat Ran and Titar. Uh, maybe just Speed, maybe go Tailwind with Suicune. Uh, I'm gonna go Cortana just in case that Finny gets out of hand. Uh, and I, I guess I combine with something. I don't know. Either way, guys. VGC 2018 coming at you live right now. Featuring more than this Mega Zam team, of course, guys. EVs, IVs, all that good stuff once again in the description down below. Be sure to check it out and give this team a try for yourselves. Other than that, this battle's in the way and let's see how we do right now. Pokemon Trainer Ichi. What do you got as your lead, man? I got Turk on Lele. Let's see what you got. Finny Cress. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Alright, I see how fast you are. Alright, obviously Layla's gonna be the fastest thing on the field, or yeah, Layla's definitely faster than Finny. Turk gonna be the fastest thing on the field, so I think I'm gonna go for Protect Taunt. Okay, it is confirmed that you do not have a, uh, what do you call, a berry there. I mean, a, a, a mental herb. You have a Spadef berry. Oh my lord, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Alright, Turret Gam protects. And I guess we taunt the Cresselia in case you go Trick Room. And then I'd probably go like Rock Slide, Psychic on Finny. It's probably gonna be enough, but either way, Terrakia protects. You're gonna play it safe. Taunt goes off on that Cresselia. And let's see if we caught the Trick Room. As a Dean, I gotta do I ain't gotta do much to my uh, Lele over here. Unless your specs. That's definitely Specs, and that was Trick Room was caught, indeed. All right, cool. I have no idea what to do right now. I could just go stab Rock Slide or bring in Cartana. I'm not gonna bring in Thunderous. Yeah, I'm just gonna go Rock Slide and uh, Moon Blast on Tapu Finny. I can hope it's enough to kill. It's probably not even gonna be close. I hope for a flinch. I got no safe switch for this uh, for this Finny over here. So Roxanne goes over. Ugh! Show me that beauteous flinch. I did nothing at all. Oh my lord. Alright, we don't have to worry about a berry though, at least, because your specs. Any flinches. Any flinches. Ripped to both mods. 
Are we both living? Cresselia flinches the yo. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Beautiful. Both mods lived. Wow. All right. Uh, rock slide again. And I think I should go Moonblast again, because I don't think you bring if you bring in Heat Ran, you still resist uh, Psychic and Fairy, so. Just Moonblast Finny, play it safe. If you switch it out, so be it. So be it, so be it. Yeah, it's out of here. Right, is that going to be Heat Ran? It's indeed the Heat Ran! Well, there goes my Tarek, yeah, to kill it, but unless you flinch with Cresselia again, let's see here. Big damage, big damage, not too bad. Moonblast goes off. I am going to die to my life from correct. Pretty decent damage right there. It's a crit, that is why Lily is dead to its own. Life orb, let's see what Cresselia does. Psychic, yeah. All right, double kill there. It's going to be really rough to kill that crest, man. This game one is not looking good at all. Let's taunt this guy. I'm not too scared of the heat ram because... Yeah, I can't do check. I can Sacred Sword Cartana into Heat Rant, and then I could just go T Bone to Cresselia and plus Spin Death. It's not gonna do anything. Thunderous comes out, so does Katana. Yes, yeah, game's over. There's no way. There is no way, Jose. Alright, I'm gonna double team the Cresselia here if we go for Trick Room. I, I gotta rely on my sash here, so I'm gonna double team Cresselia. Hopefully, enough Elect Electrium Z is enough. Boom! We get that read. Very nice. Is it enough, though? Is it enough? Leaf Blade goes off. Can Thunder's Electrium Z be en enough? Oh, I think it will be. I think it will be, folks. Electrium Z going off at plus one for death. Cresselia. If it's not, I am screwed. If it is, we are good to go. We're gonna kill this heat right next turn, most likely, but regardless, here it is, friends. Gigable have it gonna go off on this. Cresselia, is it enough? It is, because so this special attack is so freaking high. We got a low HP Finny. That's not a problem. We still got our Sash and Sack. Heat Ran probably can die to a T-Bulk and Sacred Sword, or just a Sacred Sword in general. We're feeling good, guys. We are feeling good right now. That's what your last mine is. If a T-Sar feels good as well. Alright, so Heat Ray is exposed this turn. It's either the uh, low HP Finny who dies to any attack I go for, or the unknown mom we don't know yet. There's the Finny, the D-Gleam Finny. Alright. T-Bolt Finny and Sacred Sword Heat Ram. Think it's enough, guys? Let's find out. I hope it is. I don't know if it is, guys. I don't know the Calc. It's my only hope, though. It's my only hope. Can we do it? Can we do it? All right, Katana! Are we in this game? Are we alive, folks? Is it that one giant read? Is this Thunder's going to win us the game? Or is it Katana being the mighty monster? And we're up 2-1 to one now. Out of nowhere, we take the lead, folks. We are feeling great after that Cresselia read. And oh, baby, I think we're in the driver's seat right now. Pedal to the metal. And is it a W? T to all, oh, it's a W and a half, folks. We get game one. We take game one, folks. One hard read is all it took. They have a hard read. Honestly, I had to go for that read, otherwise I instantly lose. So, we got it now, fam. We got it. T-Bolt, Sacred Sword, plus one Kartana. No for this t to Sash. And if he is, I got speed. That's it. Maggie Evolve and Maggie Evolve Protect. Not a Choppleberry. Not a Weakness Policy. That's what he does. He's, staying, he's going for it, man. He's going to make Evolve and here comes Sacred Sword. There it is. At plus one. And there it goes. Not too shabby. After like a five day hiatus, my friends. Not bad at all. Ichi is dead. And now we take game one. Feeling good. And that is that, my friends. Very nice. Okay, good. You know what won us that game? The Cresselia Flinch won us that game. Cresselia Flinch and my opponent playing too safe. Granted, I probably would have made the same play, but... Or I think most people would have made the same play. As a service, going to leave that in against a Kartana. Or the Sacred Sword, most likely. 
So I guess after I went for a leaf blade on the um on the crest, I guess they thought maybe it doesn't have a secret sword. But because I did, that was it, man. That was it. That was it. We are seven and two with Team Mega Zam. So I don't think you guys are paying attention. I'll get to it a bit. Let me see what this guy has real quick and talk about that. But then I'll get to my point I was gonna make. Zardwai, Titar, Orlando, Whimsicott, Hitmonsop, and Thunderous Genie form. All right. This is going to be tough. This is going to be a toughie. All right, hold on. My nose is running from allergies. Let me do one of these real quick. Make sure I don't got dripping snot in the middle of the video. That'd be gross. All right, so I think for this game, Thunderous is the lead just so we can T-bolt the other Thunderous. And Charizard Y. Also, Volt Absorb, we are not scared of T-Bolt from the opposing Thunderous. Uh, and then... Somebody doesn't have to be paralyzed too much. And honestly, I think it's Suicune. But the sun goes up. Lowers my skull damage. So maybe you go with Thunderous Lele. So you can't T-Wave me at all? That's a good idea. <laughs> so you can only T-Wave Thunderous, but I have Voltorb, so it doesn't matter, so we'll do that. No priority for you. And then we go with Terrakia. And probably Zam. Or Cortana. Hmm. I'm gonna go Mega Zam. I'm gonna go for that, guys. That's game two right there. Here we go, folks. Game two. We are 1-0 oh, after a great first game. after falling behind, but we got that W. Can we follow suit in game two and get an early W instead of making it a little harder on ourselves? Either way, game two underway. Let's get it. I'm ready. Here we go. Uh, uh, uh. ba da Whimsicott and Landorus. All right, so Scarf Lando. What is this Lando? So many more options with Zemus being a thing for Landorus now, so... Gotta watch out for that. However, there is no priority at all right now unless you switch out. Lando, bring in the Finny or whatever other. Oh, uh, I mean, do you even have a top? I forgot, actually. I'm thinking the last game right now. Team that goes off, you don't care about that at all. Do you have a top? Looks fine now. Oh, you don't. All right, beautiful. So, if you guys don't know, I've incinerate on this Thunderous. It is probably not gonna be legal. Come 2018, because this is a move from the uh, black to white to. And we don't know if it's going to transfer all the way over to Ultra Ultra Moon, so it might not be when the time comes up. But for now, it's a great tech. It burns berries, hits both mons, and gives me an answer for Steel Pokemon and Grass Pokemon, besides Sludge Bomb, obviously. But you get the point. So that is that. So I think I'm going to Sludge Bomb the Whimsicott. And Psychic. I might do the T-Tar, though. I'm still going to Psychic Land, though. I'll go for that. I'll risk everything right here. Tailwind is up. U-Turn goes off. Oh, is it gonna be, it's going to be T-Tar, is it? It's going to be T-Tar, isn't it? I really believe it's uh, Finny, uh, Wounds hasn't sashed. I knew I should have moved. I knew it. 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 All right, how do we come back now? How do we come back? That's step one ish. If we poison you, poison, 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 poison. That's step one right there. That is step one. If I moon blaster, oh, you've been done, so dude. We're gonna wrap all of for you. We just got rid of that to the sand anyway, so I didn't even need the poison, but... Oh, I'm so sold to myself for going for... Not for going for Moonblast. I'm an idiot. Uh, oh god, I'm trying to my take advantage of it. <laughs> and as a result, could have been so great right here. So great. But instead, I'm in... <laughs> build. Alright, I really want to bring in Terrakian just because I resist dark and fire. But then Solar Beam's a thing. Protect Thunderous, bring in Terrakion. Also, need the Saiyan, so that's always nice. 
So we'll do that. If I get by a crunch, so be it. I that I will. Uh, I'm probably going to see a solar beam next turn or a double team thunderous. I don't know what's going to happen exactly. Either way, Sand is gone to go just for death boost on both Turrican and Tyranitar. So, what do I do now? Sand, oh, the sun is up. And then from there, let's see what happens. If you go D dance, I don't think it will though because you already have double speed. So, let's see. Heat wave. I resist, but it's going to hurt because of the sun. It's gonna hurt because of the sun. No, that's just, that's just game. That's just hundred percent game now. I can't do jack about that. I can't do jack about that. All right, T Bolt Zard and fight Tenim Z T Tur because I don't think a uh, close combat will kill you. Just do that. Hope for the best. There's that solar beam, night and night to uh, Terrakion. So like I said, I could get a protect there, but I want to get aggressive because I'm really screwed to be that burn. Uh, Luther again isn't the end of the world, but it's pretty bad because Soul Target Rock Slide may kill me now. And this game's over, yeah. That's it. Should I have put it there with the, with the Terrakion? Yes. But overall, it doesn't even really get me too, too far. Now my best bet right now is to trace Sandstorm and get rid of the sun boosted damage for the from this uh from this Zard. This is less of a tablet, so of course I'm gonna double protect here. So we're still in this game, but it's not looking too hot because we have no answer for this teacher besides Moonblast. Nope, nope, Megi Vop protect, sorry. Alright, do that. Tamon goes right at the end of this turn, and then from there. If any, they pretty we could encore them in, but we're gonna lose second turn here as well, which really sucks. Yes, get rid of that set, get rid of that sun. However, that boost teeter is sped that, and now we're like, yeah, that's, that's really not that good. That's really not that good. Flamethrower ain't gonna do jack, and Crunch ain't gonna do jack. All right. Sans and everybody but the T-Tar. I feel like with my ability, Sans should, should not hurt me. It shouldn't hurt me, but hey, obviously I'm not the same. I'm not the type of that should be. So, oh well. All right, obvious play: Psychic Zard and Moonblast. Hopefully, the life orb Moonblast is not the killer T-Tar. I doubt it will be, but you never know. Protect. All right, that's an encore. That's a free encore. If it kills Zard, that is. Mega Dance, like in the Tyrannus, should really hurt. Well, that is the game. And I was faster than Zard, too. Wow. All Damn it. All right, we lose game two, guys. It was my own fault there. I definitely played poorly. Oh, uh, I can protect here and let Zard die. But I'm going to call you to switch out there. So, you know what? I have D-Gleam. So, I'm going to Encore T-Tar. And try to see if Zard switches out. Because I'll probably have a Flamethrower. So, let's just do that. Let Zard die to the sands. So, you force to protect again. And Zard goes to Flamethrower. I'll be at like 20 HP. And then you go for your... Uh... Yeah. I got off like a crit D gleam and I don't even know what. So my opponent play very obvious and sort of if I if I make one read in this game, I'm back in it easily, but I didn't play smart. And that's why I lost. It's okay though. Lindo comes in and tell me that you're scarfed. And that is gonna be the game. Let's get a second crit on you. I don't even need to go for T Tar right now. If I crit psychic, awesome. Then I could win this game. But I doubt I will. Alright, let's see. Are you scarfed? Yeah. Alright, GG, time for game three, guys. I definitely messed up. I, I, I stunk that one up big time, guys. My own fault there. Uh, I should have just been doing it with the, with the Terrakion. Should have called Tutor Protect there. I mean, I really can't call Tutor Protect there. I know I could It's all hindsight now, but... If I thought about it longer, I probably would have gone for the uh, Zard there. 
but I was certain I was going to die, because that was weird, because he, he is slower than my Lele, which means he's probably bulky, so I feel like that Psychic normally does kill that Zard, so I think I did make the right play there, but just a little unlucky than my opponent's EV spread, so that is that, we go to game 3 now, and what can you do, guys? That's alright, there were a 7-3, not a bad, not a bad record at all, and uh, yeah, man, so we're going to go to game 3, I'm not the world losing that game, we are, yes, we are indeed 7-3, not a bad rating, we did lose quite a, amount of, a good amount of points right there. I don't like that, but nothing you can do. Here we go. We got game three coming to the right now. What do we have over here? Scizor, King is gone. Zerk, Lando, Finny, and a Rotom Heat. All right. I can dig it. I can dig it. All right. We have Inner Focus Zam for those fake ads. So I might just go with Zam right here for the Inner Focus. And Lele as well. I really want to do that. But is Inner Focus Sam really worth it? Alright, I'm going to go Inner Focus Sam and Thunderous. And then I'm going to back it up with... Mm, this is a toughie. This is definitely a toughie because, like, Heat Ran is honestly really good against my team. Alright, so we're going to do that. We're going to bring Kartsana and we're going to bring Tarakion. No Lele? Do I need Lele? If I go with Lele, there's no chance of priority. I gotta bring that Lily, guys. I got it. That's gonna be game three. No Suicune at all today, my friends. It'll be an interesting game three. I honestly have no idea how this one goes down. If I get the right lead, I'm gonna win it. But if I don't, I think I lose it. I could be stepped out of any game, but like, the lead is very important for me right now. And I don't know if it's right going with Inner Focus Sam. I think I'm just trying to be too cheeky right now. But let's see. Rotom and Lando! Yes, that is not what I want to see at all. Alright, I think I'm definitely going to double, double protect here. Fight, Mega Evolve, protect. Try to trace Intimidate. Uh, and then protect with Thunders as well. Just play it safe, turn one. Double protect, scout out what's going on. See my opponent is targeted. Alright, Mega Zam is on deck. There he is. Maybe we're gonna trace. Hopefully intimidate. Ah uh, well I'm, I'm it's double EQ meaning that which is pretty nice. But let's see what you do here. Uh so you definitely scarf you going for Alakazam. Light screen, what the hell is that? Oh, that is not what I want to see at all. That is not what I want to see at all. When I have all special attackers besides Kartana. I am not killing that Rotom at all. Dual screen, I got he got it. There's no way I'm winning this game now. There is no way. Can they even live a U-turn from Lando? I dab. I'm going to Encore the Rotom. And I'm going to T-Bolt the Lando. Calling it to switch into like... I don't even know what. Yeah, I'm going to go for the big read. I'm going to go for the big read. Alright, it's not Scarf. This game is pretty much over now. Rip a Rones, dude. Rip a Rones right there. That is definitely a bulky, bulky level because it did that rocks did nothing. Did absolutely nothing. I'm gonna put to the Zam, and then bring in Kartana. We got a wish of Sash here. 
we gotta waste our stash of three turns to five turns of light screen left. I don't know if you're light clay or not. I don't know what this Rotom is. Bring Kartana while this Rotom is Encore. It can't do much. And then I can definitely Leaf Blade second kill the Landorus, but... That Rock Slide did nothing to Zam, dude. It's kind of crazy. I mean, it's not Stab, first of all. Yeah, I'm really I'm surprised, I'm surprised a little that did. All right. Bring in Kartsana. Let's see what comes in now. Sapu Finny, beautiful. Not beautiful, but like... All right, no statuses. I'm immune to EQ with um, Al Alakazam. Protect goes off. Planet safe. And let's see what you do here. Beautiful. All right. Great, 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 great. Ah, uh, Finny would definitely want to protect here. Finny definitely wants to protect here. So as you do it, I'll bring in Thunderous. And I'll Leaf Blade Finny just in case he stays in. No, he doesn't protect with it. So I'm gonna bring in our Thunderous here. Charty at that U turn. Finny does protect. Yeah. Like I said, I, I should have gone for the, uh, the, the land over there, but I got a little too zesty. All right, well, is it, we, we got this. We definitely got this Finny unlocked now with the Leaf Blade. He's got to sw switch it out. He's gonna bring in Rotom here. So I literally have no answer for that Rotom. I got no answer at all. We bring in the Zerka Tree. Wow. Why Zerka Tree? All right. Probably gonna incinerate here, get rid of both berries. Or get rid of berries. Or better yet, just Lactarium Z, the Finny. But there is a land on the back. I really don't want to waste my Z move on the Finny slot. Oh man, why is this so tough? Why is this so tough? I'm going to incinerate, and I'm going to Leaf Blade Zerka Tree. Call Finn in the switch out here to have a road of Orlando. Finn is out of here. Who is it? Lando. So thank God I didn't go for a Z move here. All right, here we go. Lowers our attack by one each, which means the Zerka Tree is definitely been bought. I could get rid of barriers, which would be very huge. Leaf Blade goes off and crits our thing as well. Is that a crit? It was not a crit. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Twinkle Tackle Zerk. Goodbye, Thunderous. Nope, on the Cartana? It does so much! Oh my lordy. Alright, well. I don't even know anymore, man. I don't even know. There was no bear like I thought there would be. I could have killed the Zerk already. Fluff. Is uh, Light Screen gone? Three more turns. He has Light Clan that wrote him. Oh my lord. Alright. Giggle Havoc Zerka Tree. Leaf Blade. Hope for a crit on land though. Zerka's out of here. Who is that? Wrote him, yeah. Alright. Alright, for my Zemo because I'm gonna die anyway. So I gotta hope for a crit. Mm, no crit. Damn it. Alright, here comes Lactarium Z onto the road. I'm gonna get a little damage on it. Better than nothing, but with Light Screen being up and you resist electricity, it's gonna do absolutely nothing. Guys, I think we're just losing, man. 
We tried. We definitely tried, but it didn't go too, too well. I mean, the game's not over yet. That's honestly not bad for Light Screen being up. That is not bad at all. Huge dodge there for Thunderous. Cartana unfortunately goes down and out here, but the good news is... The good news is you can bring in Zam. Psychic to land there. He's probably, he's probably AV as well. Zam could easily live a rock slide. Yeah, I'll bring in Zam here. Try to chase Intimidate. Give me Intimidate. Give me Intimidate. Give me, give me, give me Intimidate. That's not what I want at all. Alright, we have two on the left screen left. So if I protect you with both mons, I can still have a turn of it. If I sludge bomb, Rotom, and psychic the Landorus, it's not gonna do much for me. I need Thunders to kill the Finny. So I think I bring in Lele here. And then with Zam, I go for Psychic on Lando. It's probably an AV Landers. Yeah, just Psychic here. Hope you don't double team Zam. So the terrain BM is going to do a lot more damage. It might, it might just be enough to kill him with the light screen. We'll see, though. Let's find out. Ah, damn light screen. Do that. Damn light screen! Ah, damn it. It wasn't enough. He did double team the Zam there. If I just protected. Flingable, dude. I mean, there's, there's still life. There's still life in this game. Or if only I got raw intimidate instead. That's funny, but I have no Z move to kill it, so. Rip everything. Oh, man. Oh, man, guys. We're going to go down. We're going to be a 1 2 episode today, but they were pretty good battles, regardless. So I gotta maybe hope for a calm mind here and taunt the Finny. And then like incinerate in case of a berry. Or they'll protect here, get her in the light screen. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just double protect here. All right, let's see if I, if I, if I, if I, if the combine would have been the right play, I'm going to be so upset. I'm going to be so upset if it goes combines here. There's the rock slide. Muddy water. Okay, good. I can dodge those still. All right, we got options, man. We got options. All right. Psychic Landorus. Just in case the uh, Vortum comes in. Oh, I'm sorry. You're gonna bring in. You're gonna bring in the Vortum for the for the fun Finny. So I'm gonna take the Finny slot, and then I am going to incinerate both mods. Hopefully that kills the Landers. Fluff. Ah, that's game, guys. I really wanted you to bring in the flip in his one HP. Wow. But to dodge it, I really wanted you to bring in the uh, Brodom there. Ice Beam Finny, what the heck? Well, that's game right there, guys. We tried our hardest. It was definitely a hard-fought battle. 
we couldn't do much different there, I'd say. Like, I guess I could have gone for the T-Bolt there. Hope I killed and then killed the Landers there. It'd be two on two. But at the end of the day, I still can't kill that Rotom. So that'll be the game, guys. Thank you for watching, as always. I'm Mr. Talent. You are the Glorious Talent Squad. If you enjoyed, show someone the like button down below. And I will see you guys next time.